Hi, it's Jakub, and in this video we'll go through the most recent changes in the iOS version of Explain Everything. They are all very exciting, so let's jump right into it. With workspaces, you can switch between tool layouts on the fly. Tap the workspace switcher on the toolbar and select from available layouts. Standard is a layout with all available features for universal use. The simple layout hides the more advanced tools and makes the buttons bigger. Great for younger or beginning explainers. And last, but definitely not least, a brand new presenter layout. This one shows just the essential presenting tools. It will give you a lot more breathing room and help you focus just on your presentation. Struggling to find the right photo for your project? The new Unsplash integration will take care of that. Unsplash is a vast library of free-to-use, beautiful photos which you can now access right from Explain Everything's Add Media menu. Sending files from Slack to explain everything used to take a while. Now you can grab your Slack files directly from your project. Select Add Media, File, and then choose Slack to set up your integration. Explain Everything's clipboard library went through a makeover. Now it's bigger and easier to navigate thanks to the new search function. We've also added a set of brand new SVG clipboard to it so they'll maintain their high quality even if you zoom in. We've made a couple of important changes to make your Explain Everything workflow easier and also included some of the improvements requested by you. You can now send a copy of your project to the Explain Everything drive in just two steps. While in the project, simply open the project menu and select Save Copy to Explain Drive. This will let you continue your work in the cloud project without sharing it. If you want to share your iPad or iPhone screen to another app like Zoom, you can now use the broadcast option from the share menu. In here, you are now able to choose the app to which your entire screen will be shared or create a screen recording that will be saved in your photos. And for all of you that connect your iPad with Explain Everything to external screens, We've added a small improvement. Whenever you connect your iPad to an Apple TV or any other external screen, you'll be notified about it and will be able to switch between external screens mode immediately. That's all the news regarding the iOS version for now. We'll have more to share with you in the near future, so stay tuned.